How can you tell if an apologist is talking rubbish? Easy. Their lips are moving. In this video, atheist, Peter Atkins, and Christian, John Lennox, are discussing God. Lennox will bring up the, Needham question. Why didn't China advance in science like the West? Lennox will claim that Joseph Needham, who produced the multi-volume series, Science and Civilization in China, was an atheist Marxist, who couldn't find any explanation for this using his atheist Marxism, and was forced to admit that it was due to them not believing in a single, all-powerful God. This is nonsense. Needham was religious, gave sermons at his local church, and Needham's answer to the Needham question was, no bourgeoisie, Marxist enough for you. So sit back and watch Lennox make an ass of himself. Can you imagine if a student of his had made this mistake? The condescending sarcasm in Lennox's voice as he pointed out the error. If you are going to quote from a book, try reading it first, Dr. Lennox. That he exists. So I was going to say that your, the very book you wrote, the, the, the statement you use at the beginning is, I think, from Bacon and who was, of course, a believer. Um, yeah, well, they and, all and were in those days. So is that what you're saying, that, that in a sense, whatever John says about the religious sort of faith of the pioneers of science, it was just the, the, for, the to, nature of to, things? To them, it was real. And indeed, it did motivate um, uh, <coughs> their excellent work and inspiring work in some cases, and, and certainly in the yeah. humanities. But it doesn't mean to say it's true. Of course it, not. No, so uh, it, it's, it, you, don't, you don't... But what's the oh, point you're making, then, if you're not saying that shows that it's true, oh, John? the point is it doesn't show it's false. And your little comment there was they all believed in God in those days is also false. Because it's very interesting when you think of the rise of modern science in Western Europe. I've mentioned that. But... Uh, it was Richard Dawkins put this to me years ago in one of our debates, and I made the point which I now make. Everybody didn't believe in God in those days. The Chinese didn't. And there was very interesting research done by Joseph Needham in Cambridge. He was a brilliant sinologist, also a chemist, I believe. And he did research and wrote the huge volume uh, many volumes of the uh, Dictionary of Technological Achievements in China. And he was very puzzled why abstract science of the kind we know did not arise in China. Now, he was a neo-Marxist, and he tried to explain this on the basis of his atheistic Marxism, but he couldn't. And it In the end, he came to a fascinating conclusion. He said, in the end, the difference that the only difference I can see between the East and the West, they discovered technology, but not science in that sense, is that the East did not have the unifying concept of a single rational creator who created the universe to work in. What did Needham actually say? Here's the volume seven to two. General conclusions and reflections. 231 pages in which religion is hardly mentioned. Needham considered mathematics, bureaucracy, empire, city-states, black death, money, slavery, agriculture, seafaring, walls, writing systems, everything, and comes to the conclusion that it was the rise of the bourgeoisie in Europe and an educated artisan class that was key. One factor which stands out above all others is the rise of the bourgeoisie for the first time in history. We may review the factors which led to it, and we may discuss the results which followed from it, but it is the rise of the bourgeoisie in Western Europe from the 15th century onwards, which decided that Europe would not continue trying to emulate its classical past, nor evoke in Chinese fashion, improving its technology and making small advances in various sciences without actually coming to grips with the scientific method, but would strike out in a new direction, developing capitalism, the scientific method, and the industrial revolution one after the other. If you are going to quote from a book, try reading it first, Dr. Lennox.
and any old iron, any old iron, any, any, any old iron. You look neat, talk about a treat, you look as extra in that, but in your face. 